Hello everybody, this is Shake and Bake from Copy Bug Paste, the creators of Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. And this is a dev update for February 2016. We are very excited to share some more information about the Steam Workshop integration, uh, which right now is in closed beta testing. We're almost done. We want to make sure it's solid uh, when we release it. Uh, I'm going to talk about that mainly in this video, but check out the rest of the written dev block because there's more things coming in this next update. So let's jump into it. First thing we're going to do is hit the I key and we're going to get in here and you can see already have some vehicles. Now I'm playing a, a beta version, a closed beta version right now. This is subject to change when the release comes out to you here in the very, very near future. Um, you're going to see something new at the, uh, the bottom middle here called Workshop. I'm going to select Workshop. It's going to open up the browser of Steam and it's going to go take us to the Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox Workshop that we've created. Uh, this is new. Uh, this is going to expand over time uh, and get more dynamic. Uh, but basically, this is just to show you how this is going to work. Uh, and this is going to really uh, lead us up to multiplayer here in the future. You can see we just have thrown some vehicles in here for kind of test purposes. Uh, let's find one that uh, I've not downloaded yet. Let's see here. I think I've downloaded mostly all of them, but that's okay. We can do it again. Let's go back. There's got to be one shake that you've not downloaded. Uh, how, let's, just, let's just do the tombstone right here. Tombstone Racing. Now, you could just click that little green plus sign, um, but we'll just come in here, I'll show you this, because you can comment on the vehicle here, uh, you can uh, give it a thumbs up, I'll give it a thumbs up, uh, you can, and if you hit the subscribe button, basically that is how, you close that out, that is how it escape again, and go back to playing the game, but that's how you download a vehicle now, is you will hit that subscribe button, and at the top right of your screen, and it may show up here, you may be able to see it, uh, you get basically an, um, an icon that show up that'll show you that it's downloading that vehicle for you um, so you can use it. Uh, not only will you be able to spawn that vehicle in, but you'll actually be able to come into the builder and uh, see how they built it how and, and, and learn from other people people's vehicles. Right now, currently, we can't open other pe people's vehicles. This is going to finally allow you to do that, check out their tuner, how they did it, and uh, it's going to be really, really a helpful tool. So let's open up the inventory. It's, it's going to take a minute, depending on the complexity of the vehicle uh, and your, your connection speed for your internet. But I'm going to hit this little refresh icon here. Let's see if it showed up yet. Uh, it's tombstone, tombstone uh, fast, I think is what it was called. And again, this may take a minute, but you don't have to wait in here. Um, again, you could go spawn another vehicle and play the game. That's what's unique about what we've built here is some games you actually have to wait for that to happen before you can continue to play the game. Well, we're not going to do that to you. Let's bring it up again. Hopefully it showed up by now. And there it is right there. So Tombstone Racing. Uh, I just selected it. I can spawn it in. And now I, I can enjoy these other vehicles, these awesome builds that people are making while I'm in game. And let's go ahead and I can come in here if I wanted to. And I could take that Tombstone Racing. I could right click it. I could rename this. And I'm just gonna add a uh, one one on the end so I don't mess that up, right? And I'm gonna, actually, sorry, I apologize. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna do a new project. Actually, I'm gonna load a project. I'm gonna open a project. And I'm going to come to the Tombstone Racing, and I'm going to select that one. And what's really, really neat about this, again, is now you can open these vehicles. You can come in to the tuner, and I can see how this builder did it um, and, and really learn uh, how they use the uh, tools in the game, the features, to create that vehicle. And I think that is going to be really really useful. I could come in here, I could change this vehicle up. Uh, let's just spin this around here with our weld tool. I'll just move a wheel there and just really mess with this thing. And then what I can do though is I can do save project as and that's this is where I'm going to change the name. Hit save. So now I keep his original vehicle and I created something new. Uh, 
as well. Let's exit the builder. I'm going to show you now how to share this new vehicle with others. I'm going to hit my I key, right? And you're going to see Tombstone Racing 111 right here. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to right click it and I'm going to hit upload to workshop. I could change the name. Let's put test test here. I could ha make this include project or public. I'm going to hit publish now. And you'll see in the top right, there'll be a U. It's uploading. There's an icon showing that it is uploading to Steam Workshop. And again, what is good about this is uh, you, the Steam Workshop will open up here at some point right there. But you don't have to stay that. You can just close that out and go about playing the game. This is all happening in the background uh, so that you don't have to wait and sit and watch that happen. Uh, let's hit I and we're going to go to the Workshop. And we're going to hit Browse, Public Projects. And what we're going to do then is going to take a little, you know, a little bit of time. But again, you don't have to wait for this to happen. And uh, we're going to, most popular, we'll sort this by most recent. And what will happen is it will show up here. And um, we'll check back into him here in a minute, and I'll show you that. Okay, while the vehicle's loading up to the Steam Workshop, I want to point something out to you, too, that we've made a change, is the uh, controls when you get in a vehicle. If, if you hit F1, it'll toggle it off or on. Also, you'll notice by each uh, feature of the vehicle, the actions that you can take, whether it's throttle, boost, pitch, roll, whatever you add to that vehicle, off to the right, there will be actual uh, icons that we've created uh, that will tell you whether keyboard or mouse what uh, key to activate and then also on a gamepad as well. So that is something new. We, uh, we do like that feature. Hopefully you guys enjoy as well. Let's check out that Steam Workshop, see if that uh, vehicle is now uh, uploaded. Okay, so we're in the Steam Workshop for Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox and you'll see right here, here is that vehicle, the Tombstone Racing 111 that I created and is now available to the public. They can come in, they can hit subscribe uh, and that will download the vehicle for them. They can come in here and rate it. I'm gonna give my vehicle a thumbs down and they can comment in here as well. Pretty, pretty awesome. We're really proud of that. Okay, let's get back in the game. Now, we're gonna wrap this up. Make sure you read the rest of the dev block. There are some other changes in there as well. So check those out. Uh, also, we look forward to your comments. We also want to thank you guys for your patience. We know it's been uh, a little bit of a wait for the Steam Workshop to come on board, but we wanted to make sure that it's solid. Uh, that's more important to us. So let's do this. On behalf of the Copy Bug Paste team, this has been Shake and Bake. And stay tuned because not only do we got... <laughs> do we got... The Steam Workshop coming. We got more parts, a couple of the surprises under uh, in our sleeve, and multiplayer. So, again, guys, thanks for the support. Uh, cheers, peace. Wish you guys all the best, and we'll see you in Discord. Here we go.